Yo, what's up guys, Gordy here, back at another video, in today's video, I'll be telling you guys how you can get fragments fast in Bloxfruits. This video will include everything you need to know about fragments, so if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button. Let's try to hit 50 likes on this video, thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. We hit 2500 subscribers like 1 or 2 days ago and I'm really thankful for it, so thank you guys so much for that. And finally, enough of this talking, let's get into the video. Fragments were added into the game a few updates ago, and they are pretty important in this meta as of right now they are needed for a lot of stuff and there are only a few ways of obtaining them they can be used for awakening your devil fruit skills or changing your race or a bunch of other stuff that i'm going to be talking about right now so in total there are only a few things that you can spend your fragments on these fragments are also used for obtaining some fighting styles for example death step and fishman karate v2 and most importantly which a lot of people use these fragments for are awakening devil fruit skills for example awakening flame devil fruit skills rumble dark light tremor any awakened devil fruit will require some fragments for you to awaken their skills that's how the fragment system works in this game and by the addition of this new update there is a new thing that you can spend your fragments on they added master of enhancements also a lot of people call them hockey colored right over here so these can be found really easily there are only six spawn locations that these hockey colors can actually spawn in and I made a video on that click on this card if you guys want to find that video and find them for yourselves each of these hockey colors the common ones require 1500 fragments and the legendary ones cost 7.5 thousand fragments so it's a pretty big amount of fragments that you guys need to get them so there should be a solid way of getting fragments out there so there are a few ways of getting fragments out there you can go kill sea beasts and they will drop you 250 fragments if you kill one of those which is a pretty bad amount in my opinion according to the stuff you guys need to do for them you can kill dark beard which gives you 1500 fragments but the procedure of getting dark beard spawned in your server is just too long in my opinion you guys have to go on ships and find a sea beast and kill him and if you guys are really lucky you will spot an artifact in your inventory then you guys have to go into the dark arena and then spawn the dark beard and to kill him you guys need at least like three or four people and finally you guys can get 1500 frags out of that but i think that's just too long and you can save your time by doing raids. Raids is the final way of getting fragments in the game as of right now. Before this update there was a way of getting fragments the candy method and that was the best method in my opinion and a lot of people got a lot of fragments off of that trick. A lot of people just grinded, 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 mastery for death step, for superhuman, they grinded mastery for the fishman cross before the update and they racked up a lot of candies like 1000, 2000 and then they traded that for fragments but now you can't do that because the Christmas event is over. So now you guys have to actually go do raids, kill Dark Beard or Sea Beast for getting fragments. So there are a bunch of raids right now in the game. So I would say the easiest raids are Rumble and Flame. And a lot of people think that Rumble is actually hard, but if you guys have like one Buddha in your collection of players while doing the raid, I would say you guys can do that probably in six minutes plus if you guys know what you guys are doing. And I would say it's a pretty good method of getting fragments. I got myself like 50,000 fragments super easily and then spent them on hockey colors, awakening rumble, dark, light and a lot of stuff like that. So fragments are pretty useful and you guys can get them really easily by raiding. But there is a limit to raiding. A person can only buy one microchip in the lab over there. But there is also another way. You guys can trade a real fruit, a physical fruit for a chip as well. And the best way of getting a physical fruit if you guys do not have fruit notifier is the way of buying the fruit from the cousin and this is pretty easy in my opinion you can get a really bad fruit out of that mostly a lot of people get really bad fruits out of that and they use that for raids and by that being said that means that everybody can host two raids because there is a two hour cooldown after one chip that you guys have bought so everybody can buy two chips with this method right here so that is an additional 2000 fragments if you guys beat the raid in about three minutes left which is pretty easy in my opinion so you guys can do that easily there are four people in the raid so everybody can buy two chips that means there can be eight raids in total and you guys can get 8,000 fragments that period of time and that would take you about 30 minutes or maybe 40 
40 minutes if you guys are pretty good after that you guys can go into another friend group or go into the discord server of blocks roots which i'll give the link in the description you guys can join that and go into the raid section and ask people for raids or host your own raid and then you can get a bunch of people and you can rinse and repeat the method and you guys can get fragments really easily by doing that i will suggest you guys to buy only two game passes in this game the 2x monastery and the private server i would say others are not worth it because of their price as well as what they offer but the private server is really important in raiding and doing stuff like that because you just have a private server you can host a raid whenever you want and get helped by people in the discord server which is pretty easy and can help you out a lot but the people who cannot afford a private server just like me or a lot of other people like 70% of the blogsfords community they can go into the discord server and help others out who have a private server and that's pretty simple so you guys can do that and get fragments easily but now let's get into the most important part of the update so i would not suggest you guys to spend your fragments on random stuff for example there is no need to get every single hockey color in the game only get the ones that you guys actually like and that would save you a lot of fragments you can aim for a legendary one for example the pure red one or the blue one or the white one if you guys like that but that could take you guys a lot of time to find them but you guys can obtain them really easily that's one way of conserving your fragments and the other is do not use this guy a lot a lot of people just go and use their 2500 fragments on this guy this guy is the stat resetter a lot of people just use him because they just try to do combos with other stuff and then come back to the main build that they have and by doing that they waste 5000 fragments and i'm not going to be even lying i use a lot of my fragments i would say more than 100,000 fragments on stat reset because i don't know why i just like to switch to other type of stuff for like sword main devil fruit main gun main and hybrids and stuff like that so i wasted like a bunch of fragments and i would not suggest you guys to do so because now i kind of regret that so that's another way of conserving your fragments a lot of people just try to awaken every single devil fruit that the game developers add i don't know why they do that but it just seems really stupid to me so for example i just do not like how people use flame they spam it and stuff like that and i just do not like it as a fruit so i haven't awakened it i do not even have awakened ice because i just think dark is better but my dark is not awakened because um you know i'm really rich in fragments because i just spent them on hockey colors and stuff like that so yeah there goes that but um i have awakened light because that's really good for farming and i have awakened dark and i also have awakened tremor because i like to use it for pvp so i've only awakened a bunch of devil fruits which i know that i'm going to be using unless i'm going to be unless i awaken like ice and flame which i'm never gonna be using because i just do not like the way how these devil fruit function so there are a lot of ways that you can conserve your fragments and use them wisely so i gave you a couple of examples make sure to focus on them and apply them to your gameplay also the best way to save your fragments is by liking the video if you guys like the video you guys can get 1 million fragments for free go to doesn't lie you know he's just a really nice guy he doesn't lie so if you guys like the video you guys will get 1 million fragments so yeah and if you guys dislike the video all your fragments will be gone so make sure not to do that <laughs> and <laughs> yeah um thanks for watching the video if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video peace